and get frightened when I see the people walk past. But I just, I'm so, I'm not used to seeing folk walk past our windows, so it's always a bit of a fright when I see somebody. And I'm just naturally a curious being. Jim and Netherly says, Paul is right on the chestnuts. Um, you don't say, oh, let's make a BLT sandwich because I absolutely love lettuce. I do love lettuce, though. And the best kind of lettuce for a BLT is like a lamb's lettuce. Like a really fresh, crispy little leaf thing. Oh, it's delish. Thank you for getting in touch, Jim in Netherly. I mean, I'll eat a lettuce if it's there, if I have to. But I'm like, this didn't really add anything to the dish. Have you ever had... It makes it green and look a look at it makes it look a bit more appetizing but it's like have you ever had like a grilled quart like of lettuce with like a sauce and a pig no okay i hate that expression it's such a weird thing to say because why are you putting lipstick on a pig in the first place they You've don't have obviously lips. never been in a pharmaceutical slab <laughs> oh no that's sad um have you ever had like a grilled lettuce with like a sauce <laughs> no who's just taking let's just get that lettuce and grill it with a sauce that's again you're using the sauce to hide the blandness of the lettuce that's food you're just describing food you're really annoying me now i feel like you're winding me up on purpose and i don't think it's a nice thing to do this close to jesus's birthday so stop it <laughs> um we've got messages about bread sauce which i'm gonna go to hello ashley and paul to make bread sauce have lots of flavor you bring an onion to the boil and milk onion and milk great five cloves and about 10 peppercorns and then you leave it to infuse overnight the next day you strain it heat it up stir in some butter and some breadcrumbs mm. sprout some parsnips roasted in olive oil sage and onion stuffing mashed tatties and bread sauce and that's all you need have a lovely fit have a lovely festive from karen in shetland Karen and Shetland, that sounds like oh, a Also, Karen, I hope things in Shetland are settled now. They were without power for a while. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry, Karen and Shetland. I hope well, I hope you're not listening to us. We have had people in power cuts listen to us on a kinetic wind-up radio before, so I hope that isn't the case. Somebody says, who still makes proper gravy? Jamie Oliver apparently still makes proper gravy. It's such a waste. He says, just drain the fat from the roasting tin. It comes with bits of turkey. Fabulous flavour. Stir in the stove with flour to thicken salt and pepper. Hey, presto, best gravy ever. Crispy roast tatties. Pop them into the roasting tin with the turkey. Done. Simples. And that's from C on Aaron. What's wrong, Paul? You're making a Real face. Real gravy just makes me think, like, that's got, like, chicken sweat in it. Pardon? Because it's all the juices of a chicken, which is essentially its you perspiration. are making everything disgusting today. But that's what it is. And I don't know what's got into you. And then science took something and went, that's disgusting, but the taste's good. Let's take all the disgusting element out of it by replicating it with science. <laughs> Mrs. Harris would like this conversation. We're essentially talking about replicators yeah, in Star Trek. I mean, that's essentially what we do, but obviously it's a more involved process. We'll get there eventually in the future, but right now we are basically like, let's just recreate that nice taste without all the disgusting bits. But you know that in Star Trek, the replicator food was waste that had been resourced but it's but it's been atomized so it's been stripped down to the bare atoms it doesn't matter what it is you're now getting into semantics here actually i thought as a star trek fan you of all people would know the the science behind it did you just decide to come in here and just wind me up as much as you possibly can you are asking for it <laughs> we need to put the next song on before I have to look at your face anymore because I feel like I want to this smash it up. This is another one, yes. Yeah. the damned. With the science. They took science with potatoes and they went, let's make it better. <laughs> <laughs>